This is the KPD Fans DZ65 wooden case kit. I was sitting on the couch watching some Star Wars with my buddy Logan and talking about keyboards when I stumbled upon this kit from KBD Fans. After doing some looking at the page, I found that this is the exact spec of a keyboard I had been looking for. A wooden case and wrist rest, south facing PCB, case and plate foam, and a brass plate for only $130, and you can get 70 Gateron RGB switches for only $14 more, man, I just upsold myself. Even though I had spent all my keyboard allowance for the year, I had to order this board. My finger was hovering over the order button and my buddy said, do it. But little did he know that this order button was for the buy one, get one keycaps I planned on using for the board. The board came packaged really nicely and everything was pretty straightforward. It even had a little packaging foam I wanted to use to take up what I think is a battery spot in the bottom of the case. I had some other videos to shoot, but had I known how easy this board was going to be to build, I would have done it sooner. The build went really smoothly. Band-Aid mod the PCB for the stabilizers? Check. Clip the stabilizers? Check. Lube the stabilizers and install them? Check. After screwing down the PCB into the case, I moved on to lubing the getter on browns. I use Crytox 205 Grade Zero from KeyboardLube.com, and I really like the little jars he sells them in. He's an affiliate for the channel, so check him out. This board has a tray mount design, and I used the plastic rings they supplied to mount the PCB to the case to buffer it a little. The plate itself just friction mounts to the switches. Originally, I was worried with how it would sound and feel, as I normally associate tray mount with cheaper boards. But man, I was really impressed with how this build turned out. I feel this is the best board to start getting into the hobby. The only part I had to look up was how to make the board via compatible. It turns out that you have to hold down the escape key while plugging it in to get the onboard memory to open. I dragged and dropped the version 3 of the VIA bin file that came from the VIA repository, renamed it, and voila! It was now VIA compatible and so easy to use. The DZ65 is a very popular PCB and is also used in boards like the Tofu 65. It's pretty much the standard PCB and layout for all 65% boards. Check out my channel for more builds, support me by becoming a channel member, and take a listen to this really thocky keyboard. The wood is really smooth to the touch, the form factor is your standard 65% and this is the kind of board where you really can't go wrong. This was my first KBD Fans kit I have built, and I can safely say that this won't be my last. I was really impressed with the tolerance of the kit, especially with how close the plate matched up inside the case. The double shot ABS keycaps made by Enjoy PBT are fantastic, they really match what I was going for. The subtle blue of this keycap set looks great next to the dark walnut case, and they feel and sound great paired with the tried and true Gaterons. The keycap set I bought comes with 153 keys, and the profiles it supports are astounding. If you are searching for your first build, buy this board. I am not affiliated with KBD fans, nor would I let it affect my opinion. The next build video is going to be the Flea Sports MK870. I've already filmed half of that build and honestly, that board has really surprised me too. If you'd like to see why that board is the best unmodified board, please sub, show me some love, and I'll see you in the next one.